Hey buddies, Mr. Puggy here coming at you with another Wonderlands video. Today I want to talk about the weapon called Liquid Cooling. Now the Liquid Cooling is a phenomenal pistol. If you haven't gotten it yet and you're doing a frost build or just any build in general, this is the weapon for you. I have a frost type build so it's perfect for me because this gun can only spawn in cryo and I'm going to tell you where you can get it as well. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and follow me on Twitch in the top right. I've been streaming five plus hours every single day of Wonderland's content. So if you're looking for Wonderland's Twitch content, make sure to follow me on top right and let's get into it. Legendary? Whoa! No way! So this item has a dedicated drop source from the end boss in the Ancient Obelisk on Crack Mask Cove. So I'm going to zoom out all the way just so you can see it. And it's going to be right here on the overworld map. So all you need to do is find this little waterfall and go directly inside. Now this boss isn't terribly too too hard, it's just a coiled boss and any optimized build should be able to destroy it pretty easily. It spawns a bunch of skeletons as its primary enemies, but the end boss will be a coiled enemy so keep a lookout for that in a few moments. And here's the boss herself her name is Lissa and she has a huge armored HP bar but it's no match as long as you have an optimized build like here so she didn't drop it for me but she does have a dedicated loot drop source of the liquid cooling weapon. Now let's go over to Bright Hoof so I can showcase what the weapon can actually do. So this weapon is a skull dugger, which means it has the mechanic of overheating. So as you see here, as I shoot it, it gets faster and faster with the fire rate, and then eventually it's going to overheat and then have to reload, just like any other skull dugger. What's the cool thing about the liquid cooling gun is that if you get critical hits, I'll show you real quick, you see the bottom right how it's overheating. If I get critical hits, it starts going down instead. So if you can consistently hit critical hits or even just have a high enough dexterity where you start hitting critical hits or just occasionally hitting critical hits you can essentially shoot the entire gun's magazine without ever having to reload now this gun is very very powerful i've used it as a way to boost up my recent berserker blizzard build using this weapon i was able to clear all four secret raid bosses in the game as i should be showing a clip of right now this gun is no joke especially on a build that optimizes cryo damage so if you're doing a cryo damage based build try to get this gun because it always spawns in cryo and as far as I'm aware, it always spawns in listed two projectiles. It'll always shoot two projectiles per shot and it will consume two ammo per shot. But make sure to get this weapon ASAP because this gun is really, really good and the way you farm it isn't even hard at all. And as always, a big shout out to the members that make these videos possible. We have Jace Noodles, Clairvoyant, Rick Iglesias, Joss Dig, and Super Noob. These are the people who support me as little as $5 a month and you can also support me as little as $5 a month by clicking the link in the comments description or in the top right to become a member. The more members I have, the closer I get to becoming full time, which means more videos for you guys. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye. And the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat, facing him up with a moxie melt till he woke up drowning in Chachki hell. Born a cave with a torch on a wall, then a window arrangement of porcelain doll.